Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Trevor and welcome to a tutorial where I will be showing you how to find bottlenecks in your system, in your computer. So this is going to be specifically aimed towards DxTory uh, for demonstration purposes, but you can apply this knowledge to find out why your computer isn't running as fast as it should be, or why certain games or programs aren't performing um, up to par, or up to where you think they should be. So this will kind of help you see into the inner workings of how your system is performing. So basically we're going to try to monitor our RAM, our processor, our disks, or our hard drives, and our video card. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up Task Manager, and Task Manager is going to show us obviously our processor usage, our RAM usage, and then if we open up the Resource Manager here, we can even see all of our disk usage, which is nice and useful. Uh, if, if you're on Windows 8 or 10, I believe that's actually built into Task Manager instead of being separate uh, in the resource monitor. Um, and then for the uh, for the video card, we'll be using GPU Z. So we'll go ahead and open that up. It's some free software you can easily download. And if we go to sensors here, we can see our GPU load is being displayed. Now, I have a, a GTX 970, and normally it wouldn't be at 57%, but I'm using uh, NVNC, NV, yeah, NVENC uh, encoding for this in Open Broadcaster software, so that's why. Um, it's kind of like a false number. Normally, it'd probably be around 4 or 5% while I'm running this game, um, at least in this windowed mode with it on low options. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open up DXTory, and we're going to try to record and show an example we're going to try to bottleneck our computer, but first we'll show you an example where the uh, there is no bottlenecking. So if I start recording here, you can see that uh, my game is happily recording at the frame rate I want it to. So 30 FPS, and we go to our disks. So I'm recording to my E drive here, so you can see the usage happening there. It looks to be around 35 megabytes a second or so. And all is well you know we're, we're hitting the frame rate target we want to the game is nice and playable and there doesn't really uh, seem to to be any issues so what we'll do is we'll stop recording that and then we'll go back to DxTory and you know people want to do things like 1080p 60fps 720p 60fps uh, things like that now keep in mind that each codec has different demands um, Lagarith is actually a little easier on the hard drive than the DxTory video codec. This is the default codec that it comes with, and this takes quite a bit of write speed. Um, I'm going to put in the description a link, or some links, to a gentleman on YouTube who did some really, really good work. He actually uh, found out all of the write speed numbers for different frame rates and did image quality comparisons for different capture software. And he just he really went into it, and it's actually uh, pretty interesting stuff. So if you are curious about what to use and what's superior, what the you know pros and cons are for everything, go ahead and check those out. Uh, but I'll be using Lagarith, so we're going to go ahead and bump this up to 120 frames a second. Um, this is just for testing purposes because I want to force a bottleneck. So I'm going to start recording again, and you can see that my computer isn't really liking this. You can see the write speed right now is, we're writing at uh, 60, 70, 80 frames a second, which is not our target. Our target is 120 and it can't do that. So why can't it do that? Well, if we go back down to our resource monitor, we see that our E drive is uh, pretty maxed out, or it was, it kind of went down for a second, because uh, oh, I, ta I tapped out. But yeah, it's it's maxed out. It's not liking, uh, it's not loving life right now. And that's our bottleneck. If we go to uh, GPU Z, we see that our GPU load is not maxed out, it's at 60%. Um, if we go to Windows Task Manager, we see our RAM is sitting pretty happy at 4.5 gigs, uh, nowhere near uh, topped out, and my CPU usage is pretty low. So we can take from this that the bottleneck is the hard drive. Um, if the CPU usage was 90 to 100% or 100%, that would be our bottleneck. Uh, same with the RAM and same with the GPU load. So it's actually pretty straightforward, but you know, hopefully this will help those that are trying to figure out why their computer isn't running DxTory or different programs at um, at speeds that they expect it to. This easily shows you what your bottleneck is. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. Hopefully uh, this helped some of you. And uh, yeah, 
Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.